Hey there, my fellow fans of horror, my lovers of the macabre. We are back with another terrifying Thursday, and I am your host, Callan Hale. Hope you are all doing well today. We are picking up Alan Wake right where we left off. If you are enjoying this, please close those blinds, turn out those lights, grab your favorite beverage, grab your favorite snack, grab your headphones so you can get the best listening experience, and let's get into the action. We just reached the farm. And the brothers told us there was some something here that could help. Seems like Nicolas Cage's new movie. Interesting. Interesting premise. I'm going to investigate everything before I go upstairs. Premises are collectibles. I just don't know if they unlock anything or not. Uh, probably in like a new game plus or nightmare mode. My controller is acting up. Gotta grab some new batteries uh, tomorrow or Thursday whenever I get back to the store. As always, at the end of this episode, we'll be reading the manuscript pages that we've discovered. The Viking boat looked imposing, almost like a battering ram. Interesting gear and pulley system.
1975 Ragnarok tour, be awed by Celestial Wrath and Fury. April 11th, Seattle, Washington. April 13th, Bakersfield. 14th, Long Beach. 17th, New York. 18th, Newark. 22nd, Detroit. 26th, Jacksonville. 27th, Tampa. 30th, New Orleans. May 1st, Baton Rouge. And I was right, it was darkness. Okay. He wants us not to get There's there still Speaking of closer look, what? The door was barred from the other side. I'd have to find another way.
That will tap. Keep your eyes open, okay? I'm gonna keep looking around for more ammo. But that one guy mentioned before he died that the moonshine could make you see things. Now, is the question is poison things or things you like good things? Like things that we actively want to see. With the mention of it being he's talking about wake. I could see the building it had to be the Anderson's name on the other side of the field. It wasn't far now. I wasn't worried about trusting the ramblings until we burned out Jerry. They had the goods. All right, we reached our max battery.
Where is it? Where is he? There. Check this room more thoroughly. Right, now we'll climb up. All right, nothing up here. But one thing I'm thinking of doing, uh, I'd like your folks' opinion on, uh, I'm going to do uh, Dark Pictures Anthologies again, but a little bit different. I'm going to do it like I'm doing uh, the Telltale series. Where there's no commentary, it'll be more long form things, and I will I'll make it more episodic. Where the idea is, I'll play through the game, and then I will edit that down. So I think each one's about eight hours edit it all down to episodes with intro outro and Yeah, the problem is not letting me open the, the gate up. Valhalla. Okay, I didn't see any pages lying about in the field. A chainsaw stuck in a tree. Nothing usual about that. Supports like an old hall.
Hmm. Weird place for a thermos. But, you know, it's not my house. Typically, fuse boxes would be in a basement. <coughs> Old gods. I don't think they keep too close an eye on them at the clinic. They seem to slip away a lot so they can go wasted. No. Those guys sound awesome. The truth. Or the fuse box could be like my old house and it was outside. Nope, upstairs, right here. After this record, we'll wrap this episode and read our manuscripts. Okay. We need to find Cynthia Weaver. We'll stay here for the night and head back to town as soon as it gets light. Hey, Al. Lots of hours before dawn. Might as well get some rest. And by rest, I mean drunk. Come on, Barry. This is... Yeah. What the hell? I'm sorry, Barry. No, seriously, because... Oh, we don't get along, but we're gonna find her. Right? Even though you're a crazy bastard, I'm gonna stick by you. No matter what. Ever, Al. Sure, like a brother. I'm a writer, goddammit. Correct. If I just wanted to, I could write ten books a year. And and they'd be the best books that year. No, you couldn't. That's right, I couldn't. But I could, because I'm a writer. What? What do they put in this stuff? I feel like my brain is coming out of my nose. <laughs> I'm gonna get the recipe off those coots and be a... Uh, uh, a booze millionaire. I just miss her, Barry. I just want her here with me. I know, Al. I know. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it okay. The storm raged on as the Anderson brothers walked unsteadily away from the clinic with the other patients in tow, knowing that this time they wouldn't return. The darkness around them seethed with horrors, but Tor and Odin were unafraid. Their eyes glinted with guile. They knew every secret path, and there was blood on their hands. 
they had fought in the shades before. The dark presence followed the choreography laid out to it in the manuscript, growing stronger and stronger, moving like a storm from one scene of destruction to the next. But it was still bound to follow the story and chained to the dark place it came from. When the story reached the end it longed for, it would finally be free. It's 1976. Madness reigns at the Anderson farm. Contrary to all logic, the headiest ingredient of their moonshine is unfiltered water from Cauldron Lake. The Andersons feel like gods. Odin can't stop laughing. He contemplates cutting his eye out. Tor runs across the field, naked, shrieking, hammer in his hand, trying to catch lightning. Their songs have power. Something ancient is stirring in the depths, coming back. Again, Alice's screams rang in the stillness of the night. I saw myself run toward the cabin, flashlight in my hand. I followed my past self. I was an out-of-body observer, a time traveler in a crazy drunken dream. This was the beginning. The night Alice had disappeared. The mystery of what had happened during the missing week was about to reveal itself. Deputy Mulligan tuned Thornton's chatter out. He didn't think writers were particularly useful people and a huge manhunt for one stuck him as idiotic, certainly not worth the missed opportunity for coffee and pie. It wasn't even clear what the man had done, except run from them at the trailer park. Mulligan knew he wasn't alone. The sheriff's patience with the Fed was running out. And that is where we are gonna end today's episode for Terrifying Thursday. Thank you, everybody, for watching. If you did enjoy this, please have a like, comment, subscribe down below. Share the friends on social media. We are working on 200 followers, and we're going to do a giveaway, and we'll be doing another giveaway at another milestone yet to be, excuse me, yet to be determined. As always... This is, I've been your host, Callan Hill. I'd like to thank everybody for joining me on these journeys on Terrifying Thursdays and Wicked Wednesdays. Please check out the other series on the channel. We have Bioshock. We're going to be coming at you with some Arkham Asylum soon. We have System Shock on weekends, the Telltale series, as well as... Uh, Layers of Fear. We got a lot going on. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in once again. Please make sure to hydrate. Medicate if you have to. Eat some good food. Be kind to yourselves. Be kind to each other. And this year, it is, when this launches, it will be February 1st. Don't let your dreams just be dreams. Make them a reality. I believe in you, and others do as well. Until next time. This is Callan Hale, signing off.